This doesn't seem too bad so far. Oh look, he's just putting on a small helmet. Um, why is the music becoming so dramatic? Okay, evil eye does not mean good. Monkeys with guns also doesn't mean any good. Um. Uh. Uh, monkeys with guns and monkeys with scopes. Um. <coughs> um. Uh. Can someone explain to me what's happening? Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Bob the Timmy. Welcome back to Bob the Timmy Plays, and this time I'm playing Ape Escape on the loose. On the PSP. Um... For those of you curious as to why I'm playing this, or, uh, like, what exactly I'm playing, I'm, uh, playing this game because Ultrabot told me to. He said that this game was particularly something that was easy to play and easy to record. So I said, alright, alright. So you know what, I decided to say alright, uh, just to play the game, I guess. And for those of you curious, I don't know much about this game! And, uh, for those of you also curious, uh, uh, not really curious. I'm just asking the question. How 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 was your guys' uh, Thanksgiving? Because mine was interesting. Let me tell you. But first, let me tell you something about um this game particularly. Ultrabot told me it was just an interesting little game that was going to be easy to play. And he said this particular game in the series should be easy to record, but it isn't the what the well most liked because of certain other reasons. I'm not sure why it's not well liked, it doesn't seem that bad, but whatever, maybe later on I'll figure it out. But for now I'll just be playing like a couple of levels of this game, maybe four, maybe just three. Uh, because like, I don't know much about like how long this game is, because it's it, it's got more of a story to it than the other, other games I've played. Um, not saying that the other games didn't have some form of lore to them that I could have gotten into, it's just, I really, they didn't really have an outward story to tell you. And Ape Escape apparently does, but I really don't have the time to play through the whole game. Because, you know, my video series is basically just short snippets of gameplay that I do, that I just play. Not really doing much, just playing games. So, that's basically all I really have to say. So, I won't be playing the entire game, I'll just be playing, like, possibly, like, the first few levels of this game. Yeah, maybe this one and the next one. Maybe that's it. But, uh, that's it. That's all I really wanted to say. Spike, a new gadget is almost ready. I might just skip through all the cutscenes and just... The water net lets you shoot. I'll just be basically skipping through all the cutscenes and just playing the game as best as I can without too much interruption. Uh, it's not really that difficult to play the game itself because... Well, there's only a few buttons you can press on this controller, and it doesn't seem that bad, honestly. So, I think I'll be fine. So, uh, but first let me tell you, um, something about, like, uh, what happened to me, um, over the whole, uh, holidays. Because, like, I know next holiday, and next Saturday, I'll be playing a Christmas-themed game because Ultrabot says we have to do something for the holiday. But for this, uh, particular thing, I wanted to talk about my Thanksgiving, uh, break. Because, like, uh, for me and the monsters, we have our own version of Thanksgiving. It's more of, uh, thanks hoping. Or, what do you call it? Hope giving, actually. It's basically where the monsters basically talk about, like, what are they hopeful for, what they're hopeful something will happen. We just basically, uh, share our, um, hopes and dreams with each other over the, over a, uh, particular date and time, and we just express ourselves to each other greatly. And just, uh, all come together like a big family of some kind. Uh, since we've gone out of the underground, we still do that. It's just that we're doing it a, a little bit differently, I guess. And, um, uh, it, it was a bit different for this year, too. Because, like, most of my Temi friends, most of my, uh, Temis don't really, like, uh, you know, interact well with other species. Because, well, they find us a bit weird. You know, like, Undying doesn't like us too much, or at least finds us weird. So it was it was a bit uh, awkward in this particular instance. Because we had Aaron, his brother, sister, slash everyone else's brother, sister thing over 
called um, lemon bread. We had siren over. We had also Washua and uh, uh, we had basically uh, basically all the monsters who were in the uh, particular part of underground that we were at, uh, which was you know the uh, waterfall area. Uh, I think Undyne might have been there. I don't know. Like it, it was kind of a wild night. And guess what? During that particular part, guess what? For that particular um, Thanksgiving, no, 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 sorry. I keep on getting that particular holiday mixed up with our own. But for that particular holiday uh, feast of uh, hope giving, we, uh, I kind of got sick. I kind of got sick over there. And I, I kind of mainly blame the food because of it. But uh, what happened was that uh, basically, um, uh, since some, most of the Temmies don't really like muscles and Aaron was there, uh, he kept flexing about and it made some of the Temmies a bit shy and awkward and mainly just uncomfortable about the whole situation. In all honesty, me and muscles, it, uh, I, I don't really know how to feel about muscles, but they're not really like my thing, I'm just saying. So, like, with, with Aaron going about, like, flexing, it was kind of hard to get all my friends to just stay calm for the instance because they kept on saying, Muscle's not cute. And, you know, in all honesty, I couldn't blame them for that, but, you know. And and then there was some other stuff, like, uh... Uh, there was, there was, uh, Washua trying to clean most of the plates, even though they were, like, basically the point of the whole thing was to eat. So there was some difficulty trying to get him not to clean off our plates before we got to eat. And then there was Lemon Bread, who... <laughs> who basically was, like, trying to be friendly, but mm, trying to stay recluse, and then just being in the corner all the time. I mean, I have no idea, like... Like, I know, like, Lemon Bread is a mix between, like, Eren's brother, Shiren's sister, and also Mold Big. But, you know, it's kind of confusing as to what it's trying to say and do. When it's like trying to be in a group event type of thing. So, like, you can understand how well that uh, Hope's Giving feast went. Everyone kept on pushing, shoving, everything came flying. All the Temi flakes were basically going out everywhere. And uh, the food itself was decent, at least for the Temi flakes. Aaron brought over protein bars, which I didn't eat any because. Like, I saw one of my Temi friends trying to eat it, but it was like a brick, basically. So I decided to skip on that. Washer, Washawa brought over soap, which I have to say it was a bit tart, but it was edible at best. I have to say I w I'm still coughing. I'm still coughing on bubbles now, actually, now that I think about it. Ugh. Oh, 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 sorry about that. Uh, aside from that, what else was there? What what else, what other food was brought to that thing? Uh, uh, Hope giving. Sorry, I keep on c confusing the name. Sorry, Hope giving. Let's see. Washua. Well, there was some slime pudding that Mold Big or should I say Lemon Bread brought and Shiren brought, but um, not really like palatable in some degree. It was basically like chewing gum that you could swallow, which was which seems kind of dangerous, honestly. But you know, at least at the <laughs> there. At least it wasn't that bad. Oh god, oh god. And uh, now I have to deal with some dinosaurs. Undot. Alphys, help me! Monster Kid, help me! Help me! Uh, da, da. Asgore! Anyway. I have to say, it was a bit interesting. Okay. It was a bit interesting to see what exactly everyone was doing, and it wasn't terribly bad, trust me. It wasn't that bad. Like, the whole the whole issue with... The real issue with the whole Hope Giving thing was that... Most of the monsters kind of just acted differently and... It was kind of chaotic with everyone just moving about, just doing whatever they wanted to do. With the Temmies, it was also difficult because they really tried their best to... But like, most of the monsters don't really, like... They don't hate us particularly, but... They certainly don't like us as much as you know you'd expect so I have to say um, to some degree um, to some degree um, th there was a lot of awkward moments and as well as some very 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 painful painfully bad moments featuring uh, that that had a couple of the Temmies involved which I'm a bit 
Which I'm a bit ashamed to say that, that, that um, 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 uh, Ghost Dinosaur, run! I think if I leave and come back, maybe it might fix itself. I think I might have to cut this episode short, even before I finish the final level. Jeez. Okay, no, the dinosaur is still there. Hopefully the, the other dinosaur comes back. I didn't know Elphys' cousin had the ability to turn invisible. Come on! Come after me! Come after me! Ha! Come on! I'm right here! Turn around! Come on! Go! Go! Okay, I think I know exactly what to do. I need to get him to hit the the sides of the bot, the whole thing, a couple of times. Good thing he just turns around every other three seconds, so I should be fine. Come on. One more? Anyway, with Hope's giving, I thought it was... I thought it went pretty well, I mean... A couple of the monsters thought it went pretty well, too. Aside from a couple of issues with uh, the food and uh, some of the monsters just interacting badly, it went as well as, you know, somebody would have hoped. In all honesty, I think it went way better than the Hotland uh, Hope's Giving version. He's like, I know like Sunderplane and uh, Vulcan and as well as uh, Pyro really don't get too well along and I heard that the whole place went up in flames when that particular, um, thanks, uh, no, no, Hopesgiving, sorry, Hopesgiving went awry. So you know what, I, I don't think it went, like, terribly for us, I think it just went less terribly than it would have for other people. Well, either way, it, it, it was still a fun Hopesgiving. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video of, uh, Ape Escape, me talking over the gameplay, because... Ultrabot thought this would be an interesting little difference in my videos. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, whatever. I really don't care. And if you enjoyed this video, just stay tuned for more Bob the Temmie Plays. You all know where I am. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all next time for the next video. Until then, sayonara. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, wait, stop. Sorry, I meant to say I'm Bob the Temmie saying bye-bye for now. Thank you all for watching. Oh yeah, I, I usually get like ultra bots and my outros mixed up sometimes, man. I really need to, really need to wake up a bit. I'm a bit tired after Hope's Giving.